Luke, John, Acts, and Romans. First and second Corinthians, Galatians, and Ephesians, Philippians, Colossians. First and second Thessalonians. And now it's first Timothy, then it's second Timothy, Titus, and Philemon. Now it's first Peter, and then it's second Peter. First John, second John, third John, Jude. Revelation. These are the books of the Bible, the wonderful books of the Bible. These are the books of the Bible, the wonderful books. It's a letter from God that sets everyone free, a gift for you, for me. These are the books of the Bible, the wonderful books of the Bible. Desert Breeze kids and families, I hope this online lesson finds you well. Uh, we are starting a new series, our help series for this month, and we're so glad that you decided to join us today. Our big idea for today's uh, new series of help uh, is God helps us when we're helpless. God helps us when we're helpless is our big idea for today. Now, our Bible story tells uh, us today about a time when a family had to make a hard decision to protect their youngest son. It seemed uh, dangerous and helpless, but God provided and saved the baby. Today's story can be found uh, about baby Moses in Exodus chapter 1 verses 22 uh, to chapter 2 verses 10. So let's jump in and see our Bible story for today. The Faithful Hall of Fame, Moses. This is Moses. Hey Moses was a descendant of Joseph's brother, Levi. Hey. Joseph and his brothers had many children and grandchildren who lived happily in Egypt. Eventually, a new pharaoh came to power who knew nothing of Joseph or what he had done. This pharaoh feared the Israelites because there was a great number of them living in Egypt, so he wanted to put a stop to their prosperity. Pharaoh made the Israelites slaves. He made them work long, hard hours building up Egyptian cities. But his plan didn't work, and the Israelites grew more in number and in strength. Eek. So Pharaoh made a rule that no Israelite boy would be allowed to live in Egypt. This is where Moses' story begins. You see, when Moses was born, his mother saw that he was a special baby. Hmm. And she kept him hidden for three months. But when she could no longer keep him a secret, she made a basket and put him in the Nile River among the reeds. Moses' sister stayed to watch what would happen to her baby brother. And soon the Pharaoh's daughter came to the edge of the river. When she saw the basket, hey. she sent her servant to get it. When she saw the baby, she felt sorry for him, Aww. thinking he must be an Israelite baby who wasn't supposed to live. Then Moses' sister asked the princess if she would like her to find an Israelite woman to take care of the baby. Uh -huh. So Moses' sister went and got her mother. Moses' own mother took care of him until he was old enough to live in the Pharaoh's house, where the princess adopted him as her son. 
And so, Moses, an Israelite boy who wasn't supposed to live, became the adopted grandson of the Pharaoh and lived in the palace as God prepared him for a great destiny that was only just starting to unfold. Whew, can you imagine, man, a baby floating on a river and it seemed like there was no way the baby could survive, but God provided. Our big idea once again for today is God helps us when we're helpless. And that's our big idea for today. Now, one thing I would challenge you to do is, uh, in today's lesson, print out uh, the color uh, coloring page of Baby Moses and just place it somewhere just as a reminder that God does help us when we're helpless. And he's there for us. So let's check in with our friend Carl to see how he's doing today with the big idea. Now, once again, welcome to OTD. Well, hey there, everyone. <sighs> well, I'm not gonna lie. Today I'm feeling pretty down. A lack of motivation. I don't feel like doing anything. <sighs> it's the worst. I guess we'll do some crafts or something, like make a paper airplane. So let's get to it. <sighs> All right. Ta-da, the perfect airplane. <sighs> Who am I kidding? It's horrible. <phone rings> Looks like I'm getting a call. Hello? Carl, what's going on, my man? <sighs> Not great, TJ. Uh, oh no, man, what's wrong? I don't know, I'm just dragging. Feeling really unmotivated. Like an elephant sitting on my head and then a boulder bouncing on the elephant's head, making it impossible for me to move. Oh man, that sounds pretty rough, Carl. Tell me about it. I haven't felt this bad since my peanut butter and jelly sandwich fell into the sand at the beach. Well, I'm sorry, Carl. Is it safe to say you're feeling pretty helpless? <sighs> TJ, if I could use three words to describe how I'm feeling right now, it'll be these. Helpless, defeated, distraught. Sadness, melancholy, impotent, weak, and vulnerable. Also gassy. You know, Carl, there's a story that I think will lift your spirits. Well, TJ, unless you have a box of jelly-filled donuts, I don't think anything can make me feel better. Well, let's see. You heard of Moses, right? Of course. Well, when Moses was a baby, Pharaoh, the leader of Egypt, realized that there were too many Israelites. So he came up with a horrible plan. No. Yeah. He decided that every Israelite boy would be thrown into the river. That's awful. It was, man. Moses' mother got to a place where she couldn't hide him anymore. So she got a basket, made it to where it wouldn't sink, and she put Moses in the basket and put it in a river. So baby Moses was safe? For now. But Moses' sister watched him float for a bit just to see what would happen. And? What happened? Well, a princess of Egypt came to the river to take a bath and saw the baby. She asked for a servant to get the baby. And when she did, Moses' sister came out to ask the princess if she would need help raising the baby. Well, what did the princess say? She said yes. So she gave the baby back to the sister to give to the mother to, in order to take care of the baby. And get this, she even paid the mother to take care of him. What? <laughs> That's crazy. She saved Moses' life. Yes, she did. But someone else helped baby Moses even more. Well, who? God. God? Moses was supposed to be thrown into the river, but God had a plan for Moses. And God knew that Moses, being a baby, was pretty helpless floating down the river. Well, he sure was. And God helped him by sending others, pulling him out by the river and making sure he was taken care of. You're absolutely right, Carl. And today you woke up feeling tired and pretty defeated, right? Like a turtle on its back. Exactly. 
But just like God helped Moses, God will help you. God helps us when we're helpless. DJ, you're the best. Not only did you help me get out of this funk I was in, you just said our big idea. Big idea time! Today's big idea is God helps us when we're helpless. So on the count of three, we'll say it out loud together. You ready, Carl? Ready? One. Two. Three! God, God helps, helps us when we're helpless! helpless. <laughs> yes, yes. Alrighty, our big idea for today is God helps us when we're helpless. Let's jump into our verse for this month. It comes from Psalm 121, verse 2. My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Psalm 121, verse 2. My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. All right, Desert Breeze kids and families, thank you for joining us today. Stay tuned again for next week for our continuation of our series. Mm -hmm.